So let me ask you a question. When you think of church, what comes to your mind? Uh, I think for a lot of people, at least a lot of people that I had the chance to interact with, um, they think of all of the rules that church has, all the things that you're supposed to do, and, and maybe even more, all the things that you're not supposed to do. Things like listen to certain kinds of music, or go to certain movies, or trick or treat, or dance, or smoke, or drink, or gamble, or tattoo, or as one of my friends put it, do anything that seems like it might be fun. You know, um, often these types of lists, these types of rules, while they, they might come from a good place, really aren't found in the Bible. In fact, we, we sometimes refer to them as extra biblical. And, and the problem with them is that if we're not careful, they, they end up hurting the unity of the church because we end up fighting about and arguing and, and even judging and holding each other accountable to, to rules that God does, doesn't give us. And so we, we end up taking our focus off the things that are really important, which is helping people find life in Jesus. Uh, additionally, these, these extra biblical rules sometimes um, keep people from Jesus. All, all they can see are the rules that we have, the things that we tell them they can and can't do, rather than helping them see Jesus and the simple fact that he loves them and wants the best life possible for them. In, in Romans chapter 14, verse 13, Paul says, um, Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or a hindrance in the way of a brother. What, what Paul is saying is that, listen, we get to live in freedom. We, we each are accountable ultimately to Jesus, and, and we need to not judge each other for the, the different choices we make. I'm not talking about sin. I'm just talking about those, uh, those personal choices that we make as we seek to follow Jesus. But we also need to make sure that my freedom, that, that the choices I make are actually helping people follow Jesus and, and not hurting them. And so as you get together in your group and you guys talk about the, the, these verses in Romans that you're going to look at, um, I want you to consider the maybe the extra biblical rules that you have. And they're not right or wrong. In fact, they may be right for you, but, but, but how those rules impact the way that you see and the way that you treat people. And, and I want you to consider how you can live in freedom and encourage others to live in freedom. And, and, and mainly, and, and incredibly important, is how and what would it look like for you to give up your freedom um, not because it's right or wrong, but simply so that you can help others follow Jesus. Hey, God bless and have a great day.